Hey, what is going on guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku. Back another video. And so, um, well, it was announced uh, yesterday officially that uh, Toonami is bringing back the final um, part of the final season of Attack on Titan um, Season 4. And, uh, I mean, we knew this was coming. I thought it was going to be announced, like, last week, in the middle of last week, for last week's Toonami broadcast. Uh, but, uh, it's coming back, uh, next week. So, there must have been a delay, because I thought we were going to be getting it. I thought we were going to be getting it this Saturday. Um, so I thought we were going to hear an announcement last week. Uh, but, uh, we knew it was coming, so it was just a matter of when. Um, but yeah, final season of Attack on Titans is out, or is going to be out, uh, dub, premiere, um, you know, as always, I think the streaming service will, Funimation will show it the next day, um, so, you know, Attack on Titans is coming, um, and it will be on at 1230 Eastern Standard Time. Um, they'll also have the Simon show or whatever it's called, uh, which is the Crunchyroll Adult Swim type deal going on. Um, that's where this is at. Um, Blade Runner will be, I guess, off, I guess. Uh, I didn't even see the last episode last week. Uh, I didn't even watch Toonami last week, pretty much. I mean, I watched towards the half end of it, uh, but didn't even really focus on it last week, and be completely honest with you, um, because there was a little event going on called the Royal Rumble, and I was actually watching that instead. Um, and not that there was really that much importance with Toonami these days. Um, but they're, uh, with, uh, their lineup having reruns of pretty much everything else, except for, I guess, Blade Runner. Um, <laughs> uh, and I don't really care that I missed it, because it's not that interesting of a show. Um, it's okay, but I don't think it's that good, um, compared to other shows that they could have had. Um... Nonetheless, um, uh, when you, you have shows that are literally shows that don't need to be on the lineup at this day and age, like One Piece, which you can literally watch at any time on the Funimation Now streaming app, um, it's just so many things, as I've said already, there's just so many things with Toonami right now that need to improve that I don't know if we're going to get any improvement anytime soon. Uh, Attack on Titan is their last kind of thing that they have left, really. Um, so, you know. It is what it is. Uh, I'm very happy about seeing the finale of Attack on Titan. Um, and uh, we'll see where it is. Um, I'm looking forward to it as someone who only watches the dub. You guys know this is a dub channel. We don't talk about stuff that has already happened in the Japanese or the mangas and whatnot because... That's not what we're about. Um, but nonetheless, very, very uh, looking forward to it. Um, some of the stuff that I've been saying for a while, uh, ironically, some stuff came true that I, I thought would happen. Um, I find it really hilarious um, because I talked about this in my Discord, uh, which will link in the description for my Discord server. But I actually talked to one of the guys in the Discord uh, a couple of years ago um, before, uh, you know, the final season came out. You know, I tell him not to spoil anything because you have a no-spoiler rule. 
and I was talking about like predictions that I thought might happen in Attack on Titan, and um, a lot of them actually came true. Uh, not really in the way I thought it would happen, but um, there were a lot of things that happened. Like, uh, the one of the things I always say is like, I, I made a joke about uh, saying that, like, well, you know, you know, the way this story's going, you know, um, uh, you know, Krista or Historia would get pregnant. I actually said that in the Discord. I have records of it. And this is before the dub came out. You know, and I, I don't read the mangas, and I don't, uh, you know, obviously I don't watch the subtitles. And I said, like, I thought she was probably going to get pregnant. And then, sure enough, the last part came out last year or whatever, and the freaking she got pregnant, and I was like, oh, frig, man. Jeez, um, you know, you know. I just thought that was just that was really bizarre. Because again, I don't, I don't, I don't watch the subs, you know, and I don't watch the, uh, the, I don't read the manga, so I had no idea that that was coming. I just guessed it based on the way the story was going. Uh, I just thought that would make the most sense because she, you know, was the last person, um, you know, from the whole, you know, bloodline or whatever. I was like, well, you know, she's probably going to get pregnant then, you know. <laughs> and then it happened. <laughs> um, so, I don't know what's going to happen now. Uh, they're in like a mad war zone right now, you know, Aaron is like getting all the like pieces and all the other stuff, you know, he's getting all the, you know, the Titan powers and whatnot, so he's building himself up. Um, I don't know, he feels like he's going to be like a demigod or something like that, like, you know, it, it, it's got a lot of, um... got a lot of uh you know code geass to it in a weird kind of way uh the way the storyline is going um i hope it doesn't end that way because that would just be so anticlimactic um but um <laughs> who knows um i just um i'm very interested to see where they go with it um, you know, we got, obviously, you know, the, the Sasha dying was a shock. Obviously, I was shocked by that one. Uh, I know that they had said that, like, they were thinking about killing her off a long time ago or whatever, and it never happened or whatever, that bullshit I heard about after that had happened. But I was like, I just didn't think Sasha would die. She was such a, you know, she wasn't the main character, but I thought she was, like, one of the, you know, the premier, you know, characters out there that a lot of people liked. I didn't think she would die. Um, you know. I'm really intrigued. I'm really intrigued where this goes. I'm really intrigued where the storyline goes with this. Because there's a lot of different routes they can go with it. Um, you know. Uh, you know, Aaron... You know, with the way he's just attacking everybody, you know, the, the interest of where he is and why he is acting the way he's acting, um, the why he's turned this way against everybody. And then there's the idea of the newer characters that came in this season and what their involvement is, um... You know, seeing what they end up doing. You know, obviously at the end there, it seemed like, you know, obviously the uh, the one guy liked Sasha 
that he came from the mainland. But, you know, then she died. You know, the, um... You know, Bertol, you know, obviously Bertol. Obviously Bertol is going to be in there. You know, so, you know, we'll see if, you know, he uh, gets, a, you know, you know, they have a, a fight between the two. And also, another thing I really want to see, again, and they finally started hinting at it at the, the first part of Season 4, was the whole thing with uh, Annie. You know, Annie... They they did so much ploys with the season one of Annie being this you know main villain mystery you know of the tight the female Titan, and then she gets frozen, she gets frozen right you know they find out that she's the the female Titan they freeze her, and then nobody talks about her after that. It's like we we briefly hear about her you know in the last. In the first part, it was Annie is um, Annie is this uh, you know there you know obviously in the in the in this past part for season four, Annie was basically you know you know Armin had mentioned she had come, went to go see her or whatever, which was weird. Uh, but then, you know, I guess the theory is that, well, he picked up some of traits from Bertel and Bertel kind of had a thing for him or a thing for her. Uh, so he kind of picked up some of the traits that Bertel had. Um, but at the same time, I thought Armin did kind of have some, you know, was kind of in her a little bit. From when they, you know, she was part of the, you know, soldier court, um, too. So, I don't know. I don't know if that, uh, is exactly accurate. Um, you know, obviously the thing with, uh, Fur Furco and, uh, Gibby, um, I don't know why I just said that. Gab, um, but you know, with her and for Forco, or Fal Fal what the frig am I doing? Falco, you know, what they're gonna do because obviously, you know, they're gonna have a huge involvement in the final, uh, in the final act, they're definitely gonna have involvement in the final act, um. And obviously she was more, um, you know, still trying to come to grips with, you know, the way that they are because, you know, she has been brainwashed into believing that every person like her is a devil and she's like supposed to be the honorary, you know, person uh, of the mainland or whatever. Uh, so, it'll be really interesting to see where the conclusion goes. I'm really curious, um, what they're gonna do, um, for the lineup. But, uh, you know, after this ends, you know, I don't know what Toonami's gonna do. Because this is the last show that they have that's really a premiere show, at least from the Funimation end of it. Um, so, Tsunami's in a really bad state, I think, in my opinion right now. And, um, they're really gonna have to figure themselves out once, uh, this ends and whatever, you know, some of these other shows just are not working. Um, especially showing old shows that really don't need to be on the block anymore. 
Uh, especially shows that are being shown live animation now at any time, like One Piece. One Piece being on there is just so stupid. Um, and I watch One Piece. Um, I'm really kinking out that Dress Rokes arc right now. We're at the episode. I'm at the episode where One Piece or where Luffy is like. He just recovered or whatever from the 10 minutes or whatever. And he's uh, trying to take out Doflamingo. He said he's going to take him out one hit or whatever. Really cranking that out, you know. Um, he had just saved Rebecca from killing her, you know, uh, I guess, aunt. I guess she would be her aunt, right? Um, so... That's where I'm currently at right now. Um, but yeah, looking forward to uh, the final act of Attack on Titan returning. Again, don't be an ass. No spoilers if you watch the Japanese or the the manga. You know, if, don't don't be an asshole. Uh, I am gonna put the comments on uh, pending just in case there's some assholes out there. Um, that are gonna, like, try to spoil shit. Um, but, uh, you know, I gotta protect, I gotta protect the brand, you know what I'm saying, guys? I gotta protect the brand. Uh, I also do have people that can, uh, that are, I mean, I don't know if there's a commenter, like, I know there's, like, some of my subscribers that are mods for my streams. I don't know if they can remove comments. Uh, I know they can remove comments on the streams, but, uh. But I'm just going to put it, I'm not going to take a chance because I have seen some people in the past, they'll put spoilers and say, I just have the things on, you know, pending, uh, just, uh, you know, precaution it because I know how these stupid subtitle elitists are. Um, but nonetheless, um, yeah, guys, um, Comment, Ray, what do you guys think about the Toonami news, about Attack on Titan, and all the other stuff coming out? What do you guys think? Uh, please comment, Ray. If you like to my videos, please subscribe. And that's about it. I am the Ultimate Goku Mater. Peace.